We are the best adventurers in the world. While we're holding, I like to get, I, I scope out the place. I uh, this is a fairly simple cottage. You see a bed. Um, there is a chest over in one corner, actually right behind you. There's a table, a couple chairs. He's sitting on one of them. There's a fireplace. You don't What's really see table? much else in here. Uh, there's actually nothing but a book on the table. I take a good hard look at the book. Can I read the book? What languages do you know? Common and Sylvan. Nope. Dang. I suppose I'll take a look at the book. <laughs> I know common, dwarven, and halfling. Uh, no. I'm just kind of looking around. Oh, I have to think about this for a second. <laughs> Putting the DM to the test. While he's still on hold, I would ask uh, the Druid. I'd say, it, you know, we might be able to help you out, but do you have a place that we could spend the night here safely? Well, I mean, I suppose you could stay in here for the night if you really needed to. But you don't know of any other place that might be safe. Oh, around this around this town, no, there's nowhere really safe. There's some weird masked fellows on the other side of town. There's all those silly twigs who keep ambushing everyone, and there's a couple of spiders that I'd rather not mess with unless I need masked to. Masked individuals. Oh yes, there's some masks. There's some. Oh, how does he refer to them? Yeah, those those folk in black masks and cloaks just skulk around over there. I'm not entirely sure what they're here for. He takes notes. Hold my tongue on saying something uncouth right now. I can't spell. While you're doing that, I need to go to the bathroom. I have to... So I will be right back. Like, I'm on pause mode for my character. I have a question for you, Ross. Yep, what's up? Why must you guess things? What do you mean? Just, just, just why must you guess things? What, the, what, what do you mean? <laughs> why must you guess? You mean my initial, my yes, initial, initial thoughts were must... exactly correct? Why must you guess? Just because I'm guess. not an idiot. 
I'm not surprised at all. Like, 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 it wasn't even a guess. I, it was just like, it was like instinct. I just knew instantly. And Zing also instantly knew, and he acted accordingly. he say there or did you say that that's me saying that not him okay <laughs> he would not say that um can i don't, don't guess out loud no no no, no. I'll, can i make a check for uh, alignment on him yeah sure that'll definitely help that, that that's a very valid thing to do in fact i'm surprised no one has done that to anybody before now has done what? Well, I mean, check on alignment. Because, well, in this case, oh, I've know. gotten, I've, I've been talking to him for like basically a week now, so I don't care. Alignment means nothing. There you go. That's a hell of a roll. Speaking of which, I did post. I don't know if anybody read it, but I did post a blurb on shit posting about my opinion about alignment and where functionally. But anyway. Okay, got it. Okay, so you have your answer. And the uh, the old man says, Well, are you done with whatever it is you were doing? Yeah, we're ready. I can go take care of him myself. By yourself? Yeah, um, not by myself, but I mean, like, I, I can talk to the I can talk to the dragon. I can convince him to leave. Well, how are you going to get past the spiders? Uh, that's we'll take an, care of the spiders. They're, the they're, I'm sure you've seen the webs across the road. You have to go that way to get to the tower. And uh, if you get caught in those webs, they will descend upon you. And, that, it, and they I'll, will be sorry they descended upon us. They're very Possibly. vicious. Well... Would you like to go with us? Uh, not terribly. Not terribly. I, tr I don't... I would rather not kill the spiders if I could do it. But if you had a way to get past those spiders without killing them, I would prefer it. I don't know. Anybody else have any ideas other than I don't know? You might be able to... Travel through the uh, that thick underbrush, maybe. Yeah, it'd be difficult, but maybe you can do it. Sounds decent to me. I don't know. Possibly. Um. Hmm. Is there another way around through, like, the, uh, south, south way? Uh, this road, the webs still go across the road. <sighs> well, we could just figure out and get the rest of the town mapped out and then head up to see the dragon. Because I'd rather not w be walking through the underbrush if, like, people with masks decide they want to shoot us, or giant spiders decide they want to descend from above and gnaw on our faces. Mm, well, I guess you can choose which way you go. I'm good with going either way. We'll get the job done. Just try to spare those you can.
But that being needs to be gone from that tower. Okay. What what kind of dragon did you say it was up in the tower, by the way? Green. You use a green dragon. Okay, got it. Oh, what do I know about green dragons? Give me some kind of check. A magic check. Um... I'm at least that. I have to find my monster manual. There you go. Also, Chris, um, I responded. I if you saw that. Oh yeah, I, I I saw what you wrote. I need to start like a side notebook for like a journal and things that I know. That's what I'll do. Monster manual. Not a demogorgon, not a demon, not a devil, but a dragon. Green dragon. Not a draculich. Not a shadow dragon. Really hope you don't ever run into one of those. Shadow dragon! Zoom in here. Let's see, and your check was... Oh, wow, that was a good check. Okay, you know that green dragons are the most cunning and treacherous of true dragons. They prefer misdirection and trickery to gain the upper hand. They have a very bad temper, and they're deaf. They're pretty much just evil. Uh, they enjoy taking good people and making them not so good anymore. Uh, you know what they look like. You could recognize one easily. <coughs> Do I know anything about, like, their strengths and weaknesses? Vulnerabilities? Well, I'm, I'm reading a lot of the physical description that really would be okay. of no help to you. No, I, I'll take uh, the description let's see. also. I just didn't know when it ended. Let's see. You know they typically hunt by patrolling. It's typically a forest territory from the air and the ground, and they'll eat pretty much anything. Um, they are manipulative skiers. They love conflict and corruption. Uh, they love bending people to their will. You know, poison will do absolutely nothing to them. And it enjoys torturing people. And that's really it. And do I know anything about strengths and weaknesses, vulnerabilities, etc.? It's immune to poison. Oh, uh, that's it? Yes. Okay. I relay that information. I say, by the way, if you're not aware, this kind of thing... It's immune to poison, and this is... We're dealing with total evil here. Total cunning. Yep. The old man looks up and says, Well, yes, that's why I want him gone. We'll take and care of it. Will, he is distorting was, this whole area. I was letting some of my friends who may not know the consequences of a green dragon. Sorry ah, if that sounded yes. simple and plain to you. No, it's a good thing to know what you're up against. Hopefully it won't be necessary, but I appreciate it, Black Track. Yeah. No problem. Anytime. Okay. So, um, I'm ready to head out when you guys are. Let's do this. I'm actually feeling a little bit less tired all of a sudden. So there is the uh, the tower in the center of town, exactly. I'm following everybody else. I'm, like, literally just on autopilot there. right now. Can you see that? Can I see what? My ping. Oh, I see the ping. I know that that's the tower. That's where the tower is. I don't remember when we're going. So we're trying to sneak through the, the underbrush to get to it, I think. So we don't have to go through the spider. 
So you would normally go this way through the webs. And you're saying you want to go probably up through here would be my guess? Yeah. So we're going to carefully make our way over here. And, and remember, that is a fairly steep hill. That's fine. Oh, we're going to care carefully make our way over here. And uh, try not to piss off any little root buddies. And sneak our way up through the through the bushes. Okay, I'm going to need an athletics check to get through those bushes. Because you're climbing uphill through dense brush and foliage. It's not very oh. Cool. Hey, Zane, give me your uh, sword. I hand it over. Yeah, Zane, I, get nowhere. <laughs> I get to chopping away through it. Give me a uh, yeah, give me a strength check to chop through all the brush. About? Yes, it's the underbrush they're talking about. Okay, just check. You chop through about five feet of underbrush. And I'll just keep going. Okay, give me another strength check then. You chop through, oh, another five feet of underbrush. Yeah, chop and chop and chop. Oh, I was just going to go diagonal. You can't, there's a tree there. <laughs> Going to go for more, for more. Oh, five more feet. Oh, you can see the way out. Hmm. I guess we, we go there. Uh, yeah, I'll hand the excessive strength checks. He managed to cut a way through. I'll hand the sword back and uh, take out my own. Nice job, Lazarus. Oh wow! Wow! What a shortcut. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, let's get going, guys. Uh, Physical labor is kind of my thing. <laughs> Let me get back over here before you guys get too far ahead of where I am. Okay. Uh, well, you aren't there yet. Uh, can you uh, show? Yeah. Zing, you might want to let me be the person on the forefront here. Oh, sorry, go ahead. As you round the corner, you see the tower. The whole tower. It's me. <sighs> okay. You can see the tower. And you see in front of it some dead spiders. At the top of the hill stands a round tower with a cottage attached to it. I hope you can tell which part is the cottage. Both are in fairly good condition, but the top half of the the half of the tower's roof is gone. The door leads into the cottage, and uh, you can see several uh, arrow slits in the tower. You uh, also uh, notice it's really quiet around here, and it smells kind of acrid. Uh, you see the corpses of two giant spiders. Um, they're just sitting over there by the door. They appear to have been dragged there. And uh, you can see their uh, their bloated bodies are puckered and blistered and appear to have been mauled by some kind of large animal. Got it. Um, do I see the dragon or anything resembling the dragon? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Uh, after you, Lazarus. I'm going to, like, push the door with, like, my shield, like, still in front of me. Is he large or is he? Yes, he's large. Okay. To make sure how big he was. You push the door open? Yep, with my shield still in front of me. It slowly creaks open, and you see a room covered in dust and cobwebs, not from giant spiders, but regular spiders. You, there, it's some benches. You, there is nothing else in this room other than the two doors. I go up to this door and listen. Okay. 
You hear something, I... but you can't quite tell what it is. I think I hear my own heart beating here. It's fine. Do you want me to take it from here? Uh... Yeah. Okay. Zing boldly goes up to the door and opens it. You open the door. Crossbow and shit ready. Me and, uh... Well, I prepare to form a shield wall. I listen at this door. To hear stuff. Go give me a perception check. I prepare light spiders on fire if I see them. You hear nothing through that doorway. You see a large room, uh, fairly empty, a staircase spiraling upwards. You cannot see all the way up the staircase. That's fine. You see about to there, really. Zing will enter and uh, have... Uh... Actually, I'm wondering if I should just go by myself. But uh, no, you guys come along. That's probably just in case something really bad, dumb happens. I don't know what this guy's going to do. Zing leads the way up the stairs. Trying not to piss his pants. Yeah, as you start going up the stairs, you can hear something large breathing heavily. <sighs> yeah, kind of like that. Hmm. Kind of like that. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You have to choose the right thing. Uh, well, wait, wait, I need to give you some more place to move. Here. There you go, you can see the whole staircase now. Got it. Okay, as you... Oh, you need to go one more. There you go. As you go there, you can see, not, not facing towards you, it's actually facing away from you, it's a green dragon. And as, oh, you, no. as you round the top of the stairs, he turns towards you. I oh, am. Yeah, I'm, I'm like right up here. Sorry. Wait, we're at the top of the stairs? On like a new uh, platform? Or? One of you is at the top of the stairs. Okay. Uh, Zing will um will actually go to the top of the stairs and move like right here and take a knee and say, uh, Hello, Venom Fang. I'm here to deliver a message. A message from who? The message is, if you don't leave, you will get a visit in the night. Uh. And that you should know what that means. Ooh, that's kind of creepy there. He's... <laughs> Zing's eyes are locked on him. By the way, the the half of the roof that gone is that's gone is this half. Who who told you that? You know exactly who told me that. Bum, bum, bum. And he says, "Well, tell them it isn't over," and he flies away. <laughs> Is it an open tower? Zing, like, takes a yeah. huge <laughs> breath, just like, <sighs> and stands up, and he goes, okay, so that's done. Let's go back to talk to the druid now. As you guys are heading down the stairs, you hear some awful screeching noises coming from outside. Is there uh, any, like, Dragons usually have hordes. Do we see any form of a horde here? Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you do. A money horde? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all left. Like, I'm just like, oh, there's probably a horde here. I never got to the top of the stairs. People turn... I presume you all would stay there. Zing actually doesn't. Zing will go back to the bottom of the stairs and hang out for a bit. But everyone else, he's not going to leave this, like, room. He's, you guys can loot and make merry. He's just going to take a second to, to himself. Okay, so what you see is uh, against one side, which isn't pictured because they only pictured the lower floor. They didn't even give us a picture of the top floor. Uh, there's a chest uh, oh, against one side, actually directly over where the door is. 
and it is broken open. Well. What's in the chest? Well, give me just a second. Okay, in the chest, you, you, I presume you're like sifting through the chest looking at the stuff. Yeah. You managed to count out 800 silver pieces. He counts it out? Probably not one at a time, but 150 gold. He's being, he's going to be asked what took him so long down. And then Black Jack's going to be like, oh yeah, I really didn't think about that. Because I did not know that they had hordes, I guess. Almost didn't put that in a whisper. That would have been unfortunate. Okay, uh, 150 gold. Uh, four silver goblets that are inset with moonstones. Uh, you can put a little 60 next to each of those. Uh, two scrolls. Uh, do they look the same? Uh, no, the writing on them looks different. Okay. And okay. You also see kind of it's off to the side, not actually in the chest. You see a rusty old battle axe. Uh, Zing will come back upstairs and uh, appear to be looking around for something. When he spots it, um, he'll actually make a beeline for it. You see him make a beeline for the axe. Uh, what's with the axe? Uh, special request. Uh, I need to deliver this to someone. You do see there are some. There's some lettering on the side of it. I don't, I don't know if you can read it. Wait. I know oh, dwarven. He went upstairs. Oh, you can read it then. It says Hugh, H E W. Hey, that that act says Hugh. Is uh, is that for your uh, little? Not child friend. Zing nods. <laughs> That's a magical weapon, ain't it? Probably. It has a kind of shitty name. I'm really not one to judge. <clears throat> but yeah, true. You do have a staff that's called Glass Staff, so. Yeah, uh, per per his request, I am going to be bringing this to him. Is that all right with as everyone? Far as, as far as I know, the staff doesn't actually have a name. It's Glass Staff now. Uh, is there a false bottom to this treasure chest? Uh, you can use your perception. Uh, you do not find a false bottom in that chest. Eh, it's still kind of a nice chest. I can probably fix it. I'm totally taking the chest. Uh, the chest <laughs> is uh, three and a half feet wide, about two feet tall, and about a foot and a half deep. I'll, I'll lash him rope. You'll basically have to drag that thing down the stairs. I'll leave the chest for now. I mean, you can take it, but if you have if you have help, it'd be a lot easier. Well, I was just thinking about like 
somehow lashing it to myself. It'd be very clunky. See, cold, silver, scrolls, goblets, backs. Yep, that's it. False bottom. Nope. You did not find a false bottom. Okay. Uh, I think that's everything here. Nothing else in this area? I mean, you can look for more stuff. Okay. I want to make absolutely sure there aren't any other axes up here. Do I see anything else up here? Uh, you see no other treasure up here, if that's what you're after. No other treasure. There's some dust, dirt. Okay. He got a battle axe named two for that weird kid. And I got us some scrolls, silver gauntlets, and some money. It's a ton of money. Oh, you come down and tell us that? Yeah. Alright, can you... So you're saying you're going to carry it for now, or do you need to distribute the load? Uh, I can carry it for now. Okay. Fair enough. Is that, like, weird screeching sound still going on? Screeching sound? Yeah, yeah like, you said there was a screeching sound. Oh, no, no, that only lasted for, like, maybe 30 seconds. I'll walk into here, then. Still dusty and not uh, disused. I push open this door with my shield in front. That's an appear like... much back there. Okay, I'll reopen the store. The front door? Mm -hmm. And um we're obviously gonna be making our way back to the druid. Yeah. I'm sorry I hit my mic there. Okay, as you make your way down, make your way down. Sorry, my bad. I'm sorry. Well, not it's not. I'm not yelling at any particular person. No, yeah, I know. Don't worry. I'm not like. Uh... I know you're kind of out of it right now from the way things going. Yeah, yeah. I'm we're okay. we're gonna st we're gonna stop after this basically. I'm. Not, this is not complaining. Like I. No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying we're going to stop after this. Okay, regardless, I'm okay. okay whatever. You notice there's a bunch of dead things over there now. Oh, shit. That's a lot of dead things. They weren't there before. The dead things, or...? The dead things were not there before. Are they spiders and stuff, or...? There's two spiders and two of those zombies. Okay, yep, I am getting back to that druid. Apparently he had a little bit of a tinter, temper tantrum on the way out. That's what I was thinking. He's like, God damn it, fucking son of a bitch. Motherfucker, God damn it. You know, if you actually killed him, he was worth 3,900 experience? Uh, you know, if he what killed us, we it? were worth... A challenge rating. A young green dragon has a challenge rating of 8. You know, if he killed... You know, if he killed us, he'd get maybe 100 EXP? No, he wouldn't get any. Yeah, so yeah, for let's not fight anything that's challenge rating 8. Like, we'll be okay if we do something, uh, one thing that's a challenge rating 4. One, hey, 1-4, one if you guys take out a 4, you're doing pretty good right now. That's what I was saying, like, we'd okay, so be okay if we could take out 1-4. You all come in, and he says, I heard him, uh, leaving... Yep, he's gone. Well. Wonder what those masked fellows will do now. Did they worship them or something? I believe they were attempting to, and uh, Venom Fang didn't reciprocate. 
He wasn't a fan. Well, I guess they'll just have to cry and get over it then. You know, Zing, I kind of wish you, we could, like, trade with a little dragon kid for uh, these gauntlets for that axe. Zane gives you a really stern look. Hey, I'm just saying, you can ask. No, no I'm not. I'm not asking that. Anyway, um, so we did, we did take care of the dragon. Dragon's gone. Uh, is there anything else I can, and we can help you with while we're here? Well, there's the undead. It's always the undead. We can make them read it. Well, the guardhouse, which is in the northeast corner of town by, uh, by the large statue. If you <laughs> went over there, you would have seen it. You guys haven't been over there. But uh, it's over by the statue. Um, there are some of more of those ash zombies in there. Uh, we saw some zombies in the spider webs. We might be able to handle them. What's it worth? What's the details? What did... There's probably four or five of them in there. That's all. I would greatly appreciate it if you took care of them. I look at the other characters and say, do we have time to do uh, We We still haven't found what we initially came here for. That's what, what I'm did asking. did you initially come here for? We got uh, the information. Okay. Secondary reason that we came here for. Yeah, we're still looking around for that, um... It was a lockbox that was in one of the buildings that wasn't there when we came to... Oh, yeah. What building is that in? That's in the Alchemist shop. What's the building that the other... No, the, the other things are... Up there was the tavern. The, the zombies are in the guard tower. The guard <laughs> station. Yeah. Oh. Did well, you what's... say something about an alchemist shop? Yeah, Can we're you... looking. We're looking Can for that. Herbalist shop. Probably. Ah, yes. Uh, the where the spiders are, or at this point, I guess, were. If you go just past them, you'll see a small building, maybe twenty feet. Twenty feet or so. It's pretty small. And uh, it has a single door, and it's not very large. That's that would be the herbalist shop. Oh, well, we can try there on the way to the guard station if you want. Be worth it. Okay, we'll we'll do that next time. Yeah, I think here's a good stopping point. That's good. What? What are you XP did we get? Do we get any? Yeah, yeah, you guys got a lot of XP. Cool. What XP were we at before we get what we got? 825. 825. I trust that you're telling the truth, so here we go. Well, let me, <laughs> uh... Oh, I see it. I wrote it down right here. This is that. And there's four of you. Where did that number come from? Uh, okay, so for today, you guys each get 200 experience. Oh, that was not as big as you made it sound. Well, if you had driven the dragon off yourselves, you would have gotten a lot more. And if you killed him, you would have gotten even more. But, well, somehow 3, 000, I don't think you were going to do that. 3,900 divided by four people... We... Well, we're die. well, you only had to get him down to half health to make him leave. And I bet... Why are you Let telling me... us all this meta shit? Uh, because, I mean, for me, it's fun to hear. I don't... 
I, I think it's discouraging. It's just like, if you oh, don't you, want to hear. You, okay, you could have gotten more. more if you'd handle it this way. Or, and I'm just like, okay, well, in the future, I'm going to be like, I'm not meta telling you trying it to do it the hard way. Ross, I'm not telling you it would have been a good idea to do that, because you guys probably would have died. Simply succeeded and not died. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got it. I got it. Not, so not I did good. All right, thank you. Because. <laughs> uh... My my ringmancy is is successful. That's all I wanted to hear. I, I, oh yeah. I'm a, I'm gonna just take a guess that one of his hits would likely kill one of us instantly. You think that would kill you in one hit? Uh, some of us like uh, blackjack, probably one hit. How much health does blackjack have? Thirteen. If he got maximum damage, 50, 50. maximum damage, he could kill you. Minimum damage would not, obviously. I was gonna say, it's probably 50, 50. All right, I guess I'm off for the max night. Damage? With max health. See y'all. All right, see, see y'all. Ya.